Hello everyone, this is KJ and welcome back to Subsistence Season 2. Today, things have changed. I toggled the hunters. Are you on? You're on. I've decided that I've had enough of Alpha being where they are. Are you done? You're not done. Uh, yeah, I toggled the hunters. I, I need access to Alpha. And uh, I can't... Uh, I can't have them being inaccessible like that all the time. So, who knows where they are? I, I don't. They were only off for about 0.4 milliseconds. I, I've spent the night trying to work this out. This is another thing, too. I don't like that. I want these roofs to not have that part. Also, uh, the building, of course the roof doesn't line up. And so what I've decided to do is I'm going to use these roofs. First, I have to move this one because it's making me crazy. Uh, I'm going to use these roofs um, elsewhere. It obviously can't sit there because it'll, it'll make the, the plants be in the shade. I need to move the plants or something. But I've decided that what we'll do is we'll put glass and... Um, the other option is, of course, moving the entire building. I could do that. Come on, snap. There we go. I can't uh, move this floor because... So you see this uh, thing that I put here? I put that there to see where this floor would end up if I had that snap to. And uh, it ends up too far underwater. So, yeah, that's too close to that thing. It won't get it won't get any sun. So let's move the plants. They can be quite far over there, actually. I still haven't picked the carrots because we just don't need them. You know? But okay. So those little roofs can live there for a little while. And, uh, yeah, those can't be in there because they're, well, they, are, they kind of are getting light, but they're not getting enough, so. Let's move these guys as well. Oops, I almost fell in the hole. Here we go. I don't think that those things can be under a roof. Correct me if I'm wrong. They can be directly in front of each other, but I they, they don't work down in the caves, and I think that they don't work inside. So they don't have collision with each other, but I believe they do have collision with build parts. I suppose I could look at it. It's getting 51% uh, light. Let's go over here. Uh, oh, that one actually says 50% light. Maybe that's just the condition today. But anyway, I'll feel better if they're not under the robes, right? All right. Uh, I didn't eat, did I? No, good. We want to be able to eat a roast. <laughs> we might have to try to find ourselves um, something to roast here shortly. I can't line that up. <laughs> there we go. I'm sure it would be fine on the front of this, but we'll just put it here for now. And um, we'll deal with it later. I'm sure I'm going to be moving these a couple of times. Yeah, I don't know if the light's going to get any better today. It's 69 now. Because I think it's going to maybe rain. How's the water here? Uh, yeah, let's give it a little bit. There we go. Alright. Okay, I'm going to figure out something. So I did make a couple of uh, ingots. 
and I think if I start the roof on this end that I can just move it over to this end and uh, all of these uh, robes are going to go and what I'll do when I go to put in these solid glass walls is I'll put the half solid glass wall above them and then these robes here will cross that we'll cross that we'll we'll get there when we get there right now it's it's not gonna work the way that I have it of course because it was already uneven now I want to make sure that that's got enough fuel because we desperately need the ash I got uh, well over 200 wood I got about 350 or so wood maybe more than that I don't remember didn't we have like 24 wood left or something I've used quite a bit okay so we have an extra pick we have water put the glass away we don't need a coat that needs a little bit more wood I think everything else will be okay there's another hit point most of the way to the next hit point so if you look down there let me see if I can get a dark sur surface there down in the lower level uh, lower right corner you can see that there's about a half of a centimeter to go depending on the size of your screen on uh, that hit point so um, let me just make sure hunters are enabled okay uh, I think I saw uh, some green lights last night but um, for right now I don't think we need to take anything with us Let's see how many candy bars I have oh, oh they're not in here we have plenty of health kits uh, a couple more candy bars plenty of berry water we have a lock pick all right, let's go south. How much? We're not running anything, right? Except for that thing. And we have no power. All right, let's turn on a generator. All right, let's go. I don't remember what, if anything, I had intended to take south with me. Um, but by the time we get back uh, tomorrow, probably tomorrow night the hunters should have figured out where they're gonna settle down and um, hopefully Alpha and Bravo will both be in places where I can easily attack them because uh, I need to have access to those weapon parts <laughs> And while the game isn't supposed to be easy, uh, I still need them to be accessible. And having a tree directly in front of their door is not workable. So we'll just... Where are we going here? South. Okay. Um, yeah, there's my base. There it is. So they're gone. Uh, probably going to change this up. I don't think that they'll resettle right there. I think if they were going to, they'd already be there. There is two rogue camps uh, down south. One of them might be Alpha. See, because if you remember, when I turned on the hunters, we only had one BCU. Now there's three or four of them. And that should be enough to deflect the hunters into new positions. I would rather travel across the entire map to take Alpha than to not be able to take Alpha easily. Well, consistently. I should say just consistently because of their position with the tree right directly in front of their door.
it would even be like totally acceptable if they were right here in the middle of you know the valley because um this would be nice i did kind of I kind of talked about, I kind of made the decision, and then I thought, you know what, I'm going to bounce this off Annie first. And um, she she did agree with me that it would be, would be better to have access. Uh, how are we doing here? Pretty good. So we have 98 stamina now. Which is like, you know, whatever it is. 20 more than we had when we started so we're doing good hey there's an onion and it's already a seed that's a good thing actually because I don't have a lot of seeds and uh, we'll just grab those as we pass by uh, what are you okay <laughs> Ooh, ho, 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 ho. look at that can you tell fall is about to happen we're getting inundated with the old <laughs> blueberry bags <laughs> those only last a couple of days all right we're getting into uh the zone where the rogues are and so we had to be a little bit careful, but I think I can take them. I think we're in better position now. They might get a couple of shots on me before I see them, but I know that there's two sets of rogues down here, so. I saw two fires this morning. That's the arch right in front of me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do I have enough? Not quite. I've still only got two scrap on me. Not that I'm going to have a door to knock down for a couple of days. I do hear a fire. I don't see anybody yet. You know, I was saying once before when I came over that hill, <laughs> sometimes you hear a fire, <laughs> but sometimes it's not the rogues. <laughs> I, well, I tried to say sometimes it's not the rogues, but I don't think I got that all the way out of my mouth, because <laughs> I think I was attacked by rogues right in that moment. <laughs> Let's go get this other... <laughs> There's so much fiber right here. I'm not going to take all of it, but I'll grab a little bit while I'm looking for the log crate. I do have a lock pick, right? Okay. <laughs> it was really hard to tell exactly where they were. The rogues, I mean. There is a level two bear. Let's see if we can avoid him. Oh, there's another strawberry. I didn't see any moose on our way over here either. No boxes in there. All right, let's go down there. We'll go this way down. I could have set off the rogue receivers, but that would only show them if they were rogues. So if they happened to be hunters and not rogues, that, that wouldn't have shown them. Oh, there's another candy bar. Good deal. Somewhere. Somewhere out there. Seriously? <laughs> need to wash my hands. Kind of hoping 
to find a locked crate, but we won't necessarily be able to find it. We've got kind of a late start here. There is a potato seed. Uh, see Daisy. I don't see anybody. I do see an ammo bag though. Kind of wandering pretty quickly through this. I want to have enough time to fight if I find them, you know. There they are. Okay, so. Those guys are rogues. Okay. The, the other ones are uh, close by. I think there'd be more than two. Let's see if they're rogues. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think they'd have shoes on if they were hunters. Okay. Somebody's fishing. Ah. We need to go drop some stuff off. Oops. Ah. Uh, no, can't do that. We can do that. I think it was a tomato seed, maybe. Yeah. Alright. That guy's gonna bang up my base, I think. I need to drop off some stuff pretty quickly if I am gonna stand a chance at finding the other ones. I don't know. They were about equal on the map as far as their location, uh, their latitude or whatever. So, um,. We'll just drop off like as much as we can. That works. <laughs> that was a lot of seeds actually. Alright, let's see if we can find the other ones. So they're either that way or they're that way at about the same latitude, if you know what I mean. And I didn't see them at... God, that's a lot of food. <clears throat> I didn't see them at the arch, so... It could be really anywhere. Come on, upsy daisy. Up, up. All right. There's the other guy, the one that was missing. Let's go kill him. He's got a hat on. Oh, I'm out of bullets. <laughs> All right, there we go. Here. So we kind of need to go like a little bit west and east. All right, you didn't have anything. <laughs> Let's see if these other guys are like right over this hill or right over the next hill. I think right over this hill is actually the arch. see them. 
Oh my gosh. Maybe I can see them on the map. They were really close to each other. I don't see them over there. Alright. I can't see nothing. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Now it's going to rain and their fire is going to go out. <laughs> Maybe they'll be just on the other side of the, the river there. The little creek there. <laughs> That's so mean. There's a hunter. Hi. <laughs> Definitely a hunter. Alright, he came from over here. Oops, I missed. <laughs> need to fix that gun. I see the hunter base now. It should be uh, alpha. Uh, boy, do I need to fix that gun like right away. Can I, do I have it on me? No, it's in the, but it's in the base. All right. Yeah, this should be alpha. First people on the map. So here we are. This is fine. There's nothing blocking any doorways. Uh, yeah, this will be fine. This will work just just fine. Hopefully Bravo doesn't turn around <laughs> and put their base right in front of a doorway. <laughs> we should know tonight. So when you toggle the hunters, uh, they generally come back in very quickly, especially if their bases are already done. So, uh, hopefully we'll know right away. And, uh, in the meantime, we can go look for a lock crate. I just want to fix this gun, though. I'm pretty nervous about that. I didn't realize it was in such bad shape. Alright. There we go. And maybe we'll go ahead and, um, start this fire. Oh, it's already got fire starters in it. And uh, start cooking that fat. Um, we can make a band-aid. That works. Put that away. Put that away. Make a blueberry water. Eat my uh, strawberries before they go bad. And that's nice. We, could, we picked up a weapon part from that. Uh, let's we probably can do that. Gives us one more of those. This is a mess. Let's go look for a lock crate. Do I have room? Yes. And I have the key on me? Yes. <laughs> yeah, see, so, as soon as my hit points start coming up, I immediately start feeling more confident because I know that um, the difference, you know, isn't isn't all of the best weapons, though that's what gets you the ability to kill quickly. The difference is the ability to resist, you know, the damage being caused by their weapons. So I feel like, I feel more confident because I've now got, you know, 99 hit points, 26 to go to full health. I don't know what time of day this lock crate shows up, but um, it's apparently not this time of day. <laughs> uh, oh, how many shotgun shells do I have? Just the four. Okay. We might be able to make a couple, but we didn't come up here to go hunting. Well, hunting the hunters. <laughs> I 
I just thought I'd try to get a bonus out of it. It's uh, too late in the afternoon to go home. Because, you know, it'll be very dark before we get there. But I just thought, you know, oh, by the way, I've got a lot of BCUs now. That will certainly redistribute the hunters, you know. So this might be my best chance to, to move them. Not that Bravo was in a particularly bad place. I liked where they were. And Charlie was fine, tucked off into that corner over there. But uh, Alpha was just completely inaccessible. And sometimes you really just need an easy place to go. Even though they're not otherwise helpful. Like, they don't have a workbench or anything. But... Um, I guess we're not going to find a lock crate today. That's pretty goofy what Ona Koho did today. And I was reminded um, that a long time ago, um, Ona Koho was in the Redwoods. That's the northern part of the valley. And he was goofing off. And uh, he was saying, I don't think we're going to find a lock crate today. And uh, he was like basically walking around the locked crate saying, oh, we're not going to be able to find that. And then he decided to kneel down in front of it and uh, go into third person and do a little pose. Well, of course, he got killed by a wolf. And uh, <laughs> so goofing off. And then he started it today and I thought, oh, God, you know, he's going to he's going to get himself killed. And, uh, <laughs> once again, it'll be funny. <laughs> hey, there's a shotgun shell. <laughs> All right. We already got our fire going. Let's go make some steak. I don't think I would be able to see the lock crate if it did spawn in this time of day. I'm so freaking blind. But we'll, uh, we'll try to go by uh, the arch on the way home. Tamara. It could be right there. I have found it right here up against this rock right here. That was in co-op though. And we had considerably more than four BCUs at the time. I don't know if that affects anything, but <laughs> there was a lot of them. Uh-oh. That's not good. Not good at all. Am I running? I don't feel like I'm running. <laughs> we'll just we'll just let him go off. <laughs> he got his little he got his little strike in on the base. Oh, I need a light down here, huh? Okay, so we're gonna take that home. Those things. Uh, we definitely need to take the seeds home. Put those over there. Uh, oh, did I make another ba or need another band-aid? We'll take that and that. That stays here. There's an onion. None. Another onion. Um, I think we can leave like everything else here. I can sure use that meat to cook a little bit faster, though. We'll just wait a minute here and. See if we can uh, get these guys to show up. I think the hunters are capable of lighting a fire. There's a hunter light right there. Is that where it was? I think so.
Okay, what's going on on the other side of the map? There's a light right there. Um, a fire light. Wow. <laughs> Here's another fire. That one's new. This is the hunter base here. He must have just been coming back from fishing or something. That looks like a reflection off of rock. Oh, look. Look at... Might be everybody's down here, which will be good later on uh, when, uh, when we come down here. Is he still there? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I don't need any help. That could stay. Uh, can I do anything with that? Not with just one. Oh, I guess I could make that. Where was that bee nest? I don't remember. Maybe I should make a heat pack with it instead. I don't know. Maybe I should just hold off on making anything. <laughs> okay. Well, here we are uh, down on the South Lake. We'll go home uh, probably tomorrow. I want to thank you all so very much for coming along. I do hope you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.